Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Metaver Ifs today I am back with a new short movie the name of this short movie is what if Naruto was reborn as a vein and became a novelist and yeah guys it is an unscripted story and my own idea now before continuing this I know this is a weird idea but I really wanted to make this one because it has been bugging me off I I just write a few fan fictions as I mentioned before on my main channel, if, by the way, if you haven't checked out that short movie as well, I suggest you should. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't know, I was getting creative and thought, why not, as a challenge to myself. And this story was made. It is a harem story, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. And if you do, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's short movie. Our story begins in Gotham City at night time. It was unusually a peaceful night in the said city. As we go towards the outer skirts where Wayne Manor was located, as deep hidden within underground of that manor was a cave which was the hideout and lair of Batman, the vigilante that has caused so much fear in its criminals that even just seeing a shadow of the bat instilled fear in their hearts. As now we see currently sitting in front of huge amount of monitors and screens was a figure wearing a dark robe as suddenly there was a sound of ding that happened as the door opened revealing a butler that came there with the tray master bruce it has been a time that you have been here and i thought to myself that i should bring you some refreshments thanks alfred is there anything else do you need and require master bruce nothing actually said Bruce as he stopped. Alfred, how is he? Oh, you mean Master Naruto? Yes, him. He is fine, I believe. He hasn't left his room unless it is to eat. He just remains there on his laptop, typing away as usual. <sighs> I see. As for a moment, in the eyes of Bruce, there was peace. Until they hardened again, I need to get back to work. Make sure to keep an eye on them. As after Alfred left, we see that from the shadows out came Nightwing and the others. So I'm guessing that Naruto is bothering you again? No, he isn't. If anything, he's been too quiet. Way too much for his own good. What do you mean by that? He hasn't left his room. Well, that is how uncle is, father. You know that more than anyone, said Damien Main his son, and Naruto's nephew. As now we see, Naruto, who was the, at the age of 25, was seated inside his room. He was 5.8 feet tall and was quite slim and slender because he rarely did any of the stuff except for just typing. And he had pale skin and black hair and dark bags under his eyes, his blue eyes, why? Well, because he was currently working on his new project, his new novel, that his fans were waiting waiting for. As now we see, there was a knock on the door. As Naruto halted, yes? It's me, Master Naruto. Alfred, uh, c come in, Alfred. You can come in. As soon as the door was open, Alfred looked at him with a frown. Master Naruto. Master Bruce has been worried sick about you. You haven't left your room. Not like he's gonna be there when I'm out, even, said Naruto with a frown. As far as he could remember, when he was younger, his brother, he had grown cold and distanced because after the death of their parents, that was ended up in a tragedy. He blamed himself. Naruto didn't know much about his parents since he was just an infant child when they died. As Bru Alfred was aware of that, the rift between Bruce and Naruto was something that was quite plausible, even to the Gotham City and to the world. As now we see, Naruto then said, I have to return back to my work. Have you brought my hot chocolate? Yes. And I have also brought your ramen that you're, well, suited to your taste. Misa brought ramen, huh? Thanks, Alfred. Anytime, Master Naruto. But I suggest that you also take some exercises. In the day, I will try, I promise. I just need to finish this novel and send it to my 
publisher to publish it. I, I see. As after that, Naruto was left to his own devices, as he sighed. And on the other side, Alfred sighed as well, because he knew the poor boy was just born when he has lost his parents. His older brother by a few years, Bruce, was there, and he, he blamed himself because he was weak enough and couldn't do anything in order to prevent his parents' death. And he vowed that he won't allow that to happen to Naruto, even if the boy hated him for that, because he neglected Naruto. He, in order to protect him, in order to gain and become what he was now, the symbol of fear, had to face his own fears. And that is how I, it went to train, leaving Naruto behind, who was growing up faster than he could imagine. And once he returned, the rift had already been made. Surely enough, after well, Damien was brought there, Naruto in was introduced to him. At first, Naruto was quite, well... Um, shy because of how Damien resembled his father and was looking at him with piercing gaze at the same time well because of how he questioned and how he demanded answers immediately but over time Damien has grown some mallow around him why because he knew his uncle even though was a little bit in his perspective weak he was still his family and he would do anything to protect him which Naruto was quite sure, not quite sure what he was trying to say. As that is when we see Naruto then thought for a moment and picked up his bowl of ramen and closed down his laptop. As he then grabbed onto the mug of his hot chocolate and also came downstairs. Where in the living room we see Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Barbara Gordon and even his nephew was present. Hey Damien. Hey Dick. Tim. Barbara? Oh, hey Naruto, nice to see you here, Uncle. You rarely come downstairs, and you usually eat within your room. I... I thought maybe I should. I mean, Alfred was saying that I should. If you don't want me here, I can... I guess I, I can go back. As Naruto was about to turn, he was halted by his nephew. Wait, I didn't say that. It's just that I was shocked to, you know, see you here, that's all. As after that, they sat down, and the talk began. So, uh, I heard that you've been working on a new novel lately, Naruto. Uh, yes. It's a sequel to the previous one. Really? Which one? Remember the tale that I wrote down about the tale of Katsi Ninja? Yeah, that one was a banger. Well, I'm working on its sequel. Really now? I hardly can wait. I must say, uncle. That one, I even really enjoyed reading. It was quite popular in the league as well. R really? Y yes, it was. Uh, okay, I guess, said Naruto. As after that we see, coming into the kitchen, a dining area was his brother himself. As Naruto nodded at him, but returned back to his food, immediately silencing himself. As now we see, after finishing his food, Naruto was about to leave as Bruce then said, Wait, Naruto, um, there's something I need to talk to you about. W what is it, Bruce? Come with me. As both of them begin to walk on the outside of my mansion that both of them resided in, what is it? I have read your books, and to be honest, I am impressed. You have quite the ability to write. The characters in your story. Yeah, I guess when you're alone all by yourself, fictional characters of books become to tend to be your best friends, and in them you find solace, kind of. As this hurt it, Bruce, because he knew that his little brother requested him, even begged him to return because he was missing him and feeling alone in the sued mansion, suffocating, but he didn't. Look, Naruto, I... I'm sorry that I had to leave. I uh, it's nothing, Bruce, seriously. I have forgiven you long ago. You don't need to worry about that. No. I know that you might have forgiven me. It's just that I... I think I haven't forgiven myself for what I have done. In order to protect you, I tried to... I tried to learn hard so that nobody could chew us out like the world did to our parents. I didn't want that to happen to you. 
I was weak then. I was, I was not going to allow myself to begin. You were not weak then. You were just a kid, a child who witnessed a tragedy in front of his eyes. You don't need to be so strong. I am your brother. We could have both relied on one another, and yet you put me aside. Look, Naruto, how about we start fresh? I apologize to you. Look, I hate that we, we have this rift between us. I don't want that. We can try. Said Naruto with a small smile on his face, as so did Bruce. As that is when, out of nowhere, Justice League materialized in front of him. As Bruce frowned. Superman? <sighs> I'm sorry, Bruce, but it is required that we are here. Uh, is everything all right? I mean, as everyone then realized that Naruto, his brother, who Bruce has specified that he wasn't aware of his identity and he wanted to keep Naruto safe to keep everyone away from it, was also here. Wait, you're Bruce's younger brother, right? Is that, is that Oliver? Oliver Queen? Said Naruto. As the green arrow then grumbled and tried to harden his voice, No, it is not. It is you, Oliver. I I swear, you're the worst of the worst liars out there. So you're a green arrow? Yes. So, what, my brother is the bad man or something? As everyone snickered at that, especially Flash, as Naruto looked towards his brother, Wait, you can't be serious. <sighs> to the bad cave then. Wait, seriously, we have that here? As now we see Flash and even Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and even Oliver begin to laugh. Well, you gotta hand it to him, Bruce. He figured that one out quick. As Superman looked quite sheepish, as Bruce is clear. As now we see, as they were coming downstairs through elevator, Diana then noticed. Hmm, for Bruce's brother, I thought that you might have trained to be a warrior like him. Oh, I, I just write down novels, nothing else. Novels, you say? I myself have read a lot of literature in my free time. Oh, have you read about my novels, maybe? Tear and The Tale of Katsi Ninja? Wait, you're saying you wrote them? Said Diana with sparkle in her eyes, as Dina Lance, as well as the others who were also present there, also looked at him. Even some of the males, you can be serious. Well, I did write them. I mean, my name was there, and dot W, even if it was initials. So wait, you're now? Wait, what now? Well, people begin to call the writer now, said Superman. Well, Matt, Daily Planet also wrote a lot of articles about the novels that you have published. Some of them are even going to be, well, turned into serialized or even movies. Wait, what? Why, why I haven't been told about that? Hmm. Maybe you should check your email log. And surely enough, Naruto Ridden was shocked and baffled. There were a lot of emails from his publishing company. And they were waiting for Naruto's reply. Wait, you're not lying. I, I thought I was just publishing stories that I liked and wanted to read about. I I see. When when will be the, your next work coming out? I'm just working on the Tale of Gutsy Ninja's second sequel. And hopefully enough, it will be published soon. Wait, so you're working on a sequel already? Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? You're, you're right about that. Why wouldn't you, I guess? As now we see, suddenly with a ding sound, the elevator stopped as all of them stepped outside and arrived at the, well, bad commuter while Batman, Bruce turned to the other side and returned in Batman's suit. Whoa, you know, you really look cool in that now that I think about it. Hmm. Thanks, said Batman with a smirk on his face. So, so now what is it? Uh, maybe I should... It's okay. We have to talk, remember? Yeah, I guess. As Naruto then left to a different side, as everyone began to talk, talk amongst one another. As now we see, Bruce looked pissed at what has been told and begin, was beginning to type on the computer fast than you could imagine. As on the other side, Dina and Diana begin to glance at Naruto. I can't believe that Br Bruce's younger brother is the writer and author to that story. Hmm, I am such a fan of that. I mean, it was Oliver who himself gave me the book. Yes, I must say it was quite nice to read, said Diana. 
as she then smirked, looking at Naruto. He almost resembled as if he was a delicate flower, because even if he was thin and small, he was quite eye-catching and mesmerizing, which she kind of liked as well, in her own opinion. And then she blushed. As after that we see, all of them disappeared as Bruce apologized, and Naruto then returned back upstairs thanks to Bruce. As soon as Naruto came upstairs, he looked towards the others. So, which one of you is Robin? As everyone grumbled at that, and soon Naruto was introduced to everyone or their secret identities. <laughs> I guess my nephew is the Robin. Maybe I should write a novel on you two. Please don't, said Damien as he grumbled. But Naruto ruffled his hair as he chuckled and mesmerized none other than Barbara Gordon herself as she sighed, the smile on her face. While Dick and Tim noticed of that, and that is when Naruto noticed another figure coming there. And Naruto was quite aware of who it was. But he thought that it was he was dead. J Jason, is, is that you? Oh shit! I didn't knew you were here, Mr. Naruto. Oh, you guys, you, you deliberately did this to me, did you not? Huh. One score for Dick, zero for Drake. As Dick grumbled and gave Dick the five dollar note that he owed him, as now we see, Jason then said, "Look, Mr. Naruto, it's." It's hard to explain, but you're alive. I can't believe this. But but how? Not that I'm mad or anything. I'm happy that you are. But how? I, I thought that Bruce said something happened to you. You died in an accident or so. Well, nothing happened. As Naruto looked towards his younger brother figure. What What do you mean? He, he did die. He was revived in the Lazarus pit. Wait, what, what now? Ah, this is gonna be taking a while now. And soon after everything was explained about some of the adventures, Naruto settled down. I can't believe this. Joker, I mean, he was scary, but he, he would go so far. I, I can't imagine. Yeah, sometimes that clown does take it too far. Let's just hope he doesn't in the future. As now we see, as this was going on, in Arkham Asylum, we go towards the cell of Poison Ivy, where Pamela Isley was reading a novel of her own. And besides her was the previous psychiatrist that has been turned into a psycho killer known as Harley Quinn or Har Harleen Quinzel. As now we see, she too was reading a novel of her own. What do you say, gal? Should we break out and go find this writer? I'm itching for what happened next. He might be writing down. We, we can take a peek as much as I wish to, but I, we can't. Hmm. And besides, this man, even though his stories are great, he has been cutting down trees, remember? Ah, oh, come on, Pam. You know that he isn't. He's publishing his work online as well. It's just that the publishing company that has been doing so. Hmm. You might be right about that, but still... If he's not aware, then that is okay, I guess. Of course he isn't. As on the other side, while the chaos was brewing, the king of chaos in Gotham City was also immersed in himself in Tear, a novel that he has picked up after reading The Tale of Katsu Ninja, which he had huge laughs in, because of the humor as well as because of the jokes that, jokes that were inside. But more than anything, he liked this novel, Tear. That only had one novel so far and no sequel to it. And that pissed him off. And he wanted to get back at writer for that. And also wanted to get his autograph. Because the story was good. It resonated with his own life. How life had created him to, from innocence. And turned him into a monster. Taking his sanity and humanity away. Stripping it bit by bit. It resonated with him. Reminded him of him himself. As now we see... On that night, while well, Justice League was away and the others returned, the King of Hell, the Clowns King, Joker, escaped the Arkham Asylum. And as first as he did, he began to hit book walls. And this was quite surprising because Jim Gordon, the deputy commander of the 
Gotham PD was quite shocked. Why is Joker hitting bookstalls and libraries? Is he looking for something? He's been looking at particular one artist, N. W. Now, as he's called by the people, Manny, Manny has a speculation that he might be Naruto Wayne. Wait, you mean the younger Wayne that rarely appears on any of the events? Yes. Hmm. He's in danger then. As now we see, since he was a potential suspect, he was in danger. So, they arrived at the main manor. And now we see it was last with cops everywhere. Even if it was, somehow the king of clowns come inside with a huge explosion and kidnapped him. As now we see, Naruto was tied up to a chair as his eyes opened. His laptop had been also taken by, well, the crown prince of crimes himself as Joker had, has been laughing all the while looking at him. As that is when Naruto's eyes opened. Wait, where am I? His vision began to steady as in front of him was none other than famous villain Harley Quinn. Wait, wait, H Harley Quinn? Well, where, where am I? Huh, aren't you cute? Just like my pudding. As that is when we see Joker arrived. Movie, Harley. Hmm. You don't look like a writer, but I think you might be. W w w what do you mean by that, J Joker? I have been reading this masterpiece known as Tear, and I am quite shocked to find that the writer of an asshole didn't draw, wrote any sequel down to this. What do you mean a sequel? As after that, Naruto's laptop was presented towards him. So open it up. I want to see if you are the one. As Naruto gulped and did as he was told, just don't hurt me. As within it, both, well, Harley and Joker found what they were looking for. Naruto had put it in a draft but hasn't revealed this to anyone. And on the other side, Harley was quite shocked that the Tale of Gutsy Ninja Part 2 was being written in the form of novel. So, so you are the writer N.W. Or now as they call him. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought I, people would know. I mean, N.W. means Naruto Wayne, isn't it? <sighs> well, I would have thought about that, said Joker as he chuckled and laughed at that. A mystery solved in front of him. When will it be released? I mean, it is a draft still. It will take it a few months before I finalize it and send it in. Ugh, you better hurry it up. Because the next time, I won't be waiting for too long. And I will come for your head. Uh, yes, sir. And surely enough, something more surprising happened. Joker returned Naruto back. And then, both of them returned back to Arkham Asylum. Why? Because that was the place in which Joker ruled over, in a sense. And he was, to be honest, enjoying his life there because of the novels that was coming in from the young Vane. As now we see, Naruto then sat through and pulled out two whole nighters and finished the job. As he was drinking coffee non-stop as well. As now we see, the Justice League arrived. As when they saw the atmosphere around the mansion and the damage, Batman rushed towards Alfred and Alfred bandaged up revealed what has transpired as the construction was being made and done. Where is Naruto? He's in his room. As soon as the door burst open, Naruto flinched. Please don't hurt me. As Bruce dashed towards him to see that Naruto's hands were red and not only that, he was shaken. His eyes were heavy, and from the looks of it and the cups there, Naruto has been drinking a lot of caffeine. How much did you drink? I only drank coffee, nothing much. How much? Uh, maybe tenth? Take him to the hospital. Now, Clark. As Superman took Naruto to the hospital, where he would be treated, while on the other side, he looked towards Alfred with fury in his eyes. Who did this? Give me a name, Alfred. Who did this? It was Joker and Harley. That does it. As now we see, Batman arrived in the Arkham Asylum and began to beat the crap out of Joker. Stay away from Main Manor. As that is when Batman began to laugh. I seem to have <laughs> heard it your favorite author as well, Batman. But he's my favorite author as well. And I was getting pissed to wait around sitting here. His novels are like therapy to me, if anything. And you wouldn't want me to remain as I am now. 
would you? As Batman grumbled and looked at him, stay away from him. He will write the fuck he wants and publish what the fuck he wants. We don't have any say in it. As now we see, as this was said and done, Naruto on the other side was in Metropolis Hospital because Naruto was traumatized in Gotham. As soon after that, Naruto woke up the next day. The caffeine has been drained from his system as Naruto has been recovering from the sleep loss that he has suffered for the past 48 hours. As the novels have been published out already within two days because Naruto requested them. And so the both parts of the Tales of Gutsy Ninja, the second coming novel, as well as Tier 2, The Return of Evil, was published. As the world enjoyed the novels unbeknownst to them, the writer and author had suffered so much for them. As now we see, Bruce Wayne was there alongside with Clark Kent. How about you let him stay here? In Metropolis, away from Gotham for a while now. It will be good for him. And plus, you do want to keep him safe, right? I guess in a sense I do. This will be fine if it keeps him safe. I will allow him to remain here. And so, Naruto was moved there. As Damien was not happy, does he really have to leave? I mean, we were all busy. I was busy in, busy in Jump City while the others were busy in their own. I never thought that this would happen. And yet it did, Damien. It did. To keep Naruto safe and to make sure that he continues to live normally, he will be working there. And he will be working with the publishing company of of the Daily Planet now from now on. And the novels will be published through them now. I have made sure of that. I, I see. And so... Now we see Naruto brought in after a few months of moving into Metropolis his new novel and as he was bringing it in he bumped into one Lois Lane herself. Hmm, my oh my, who would have thought that I would bump of all the people Naruto Wayne himself here. Oh, uh, Miss Lane, I I've heard about you a lot. It's an honor. Hmm, honor you say? Honor it is of mine to meet you. The younger Vane, who rarely is spotted by anyone. What do you say? A quick interview? Not now, said Clark Kent as he arrived. Lois, he's here to meet me. Isn't that right? What do you mean, small Willie? He's here to meet you. Ah, uh, Mr. Kent, I'm here to deliver this to you. Really now? You're finished? Yes, I told you I would be. And besides, it's, it's only 150 pages, not like it was a huge novel to begin with. Still... It's amazing that how fast you are doing the work. Yeah, I guess I am enjoying here my time, after all. As suddenly we see, as Naruto was about to leave, Supergirl landed in front of him. Oh, uh, hey Supergirl. Hey, you free? Yeah, I just got free. Good. As that is when we see, she grabbed him and took him into the air. As Clark then sighed. As he had a flashback. Where we see that Naruto was saved by Kara, who developed an humongous instantaneous crush on him. And to add cherry on the top, she also was aware of who he was and how great his fictional work was. So she was a hardcore fan of that as well. And turns out it was all thanks to her friend Barbara Gordon, who ad made her addicted to his novels as well. And now Barbara was the one who was pissed because she was hogging over Naruto all to herself. As now we see, Clark was brought out of his stupider when snaps were made in his face. It was none other than Lois Lane herself. What's gotten you so shocked out, Smallville? Tell me. Maybe over dinner, Lois? Now. I need to know now. He's the novel writer NW1. Wait, you mean to say... Yes, keep it low. So, so he really is? Huh, I had a hunch. Who knew, next time I'm seeing him, he is giving me interview. Well, why don't we visit him and do his interview? I mean, I am his friend, so he will be way more comfortable in his own, own home. I guess that is doable. As now we see, as this was going on, Naruto and Kara were in the air. Kara! Supergirl, please place me down. I I'm kind of scared. <laughs> As she giggled, 
you don't need to worry about anything. I won't let you drop. As after that we see, both of them were seated on the top of a huge tower, watching over the metropolis city. You know, it's beautiful here, said Naruto. What? Really? Yeah. Gotham is dark and gloomy. And I was afraid to even venture out. But here, I can walk around in broad daylight and it is peaceful here, I guess, in a sense. So, I guess you have given the new novel to my cousin. Yeah, I handed him over to him. So, how's your day, Kara? Well, as usual, doing the league's work and being cat slave, as usual. <laughs> yeah, I guess things tend to work out like that for you, huh? Yes, more than you could imagine. Sorry about that. Anyways, forgot about that. Tell me about yourself, Naruto. How about we go grab something to eat later on? Yeah, maybe we should. As now we see, as the two of them were having a lunch in the evening, one or two pair of eyes on their own were watching over him and were pissed. One of them was Diana, Prince, herself, aka Wonder Woman, the Princess of Tamaskira, the demigod daughter of Zeus. As on the other side, it was Barbara Gordon. Damn it. I can't believe she's being such a bitch. I told her that Naruto was fair game and we can make a move before we before we decide who is allowed to make the first move. As now we see, it was a given between the three superheroines who would be allowed to make a move first. And the other heroes just decided to stay out of it. Why? Because they weren't going to come into three freight trains that were going to collide for Naruto. How they wish they could tell the boy. And Bruce, because this was kept secret from a Bruce as well, because he was way too much overprotective of a brother. As now we see, after the dinner was done, as Naruto dropped off Kara, who gave him a kiss on a cheek as she dashed away, as Naruto was blushing, we see he got a phone call. Naruto? Where are you right now? Oh, uh, hey Bruce. I was just out and about. Having dinner with a... Uh, with someone. Said Naruto with a smile on his face. As... Clark chuckled, <laughs> I, as Bruce chuckled, so I see that you have taken a liking to Metropolis, it seems. It's nice here, peaceful at least, somewhat. Good. I hope you have a safe day. Look, I'll be there because the Luthor Corporation is holding an event and you need to appear besides me. It would be rude if you don't. Uh, do I have to? Yes, you do. And so a few days later, Naruto was in a tuxedo as he drove his car and parked it himself. As soon as he got out, people began to take his photos because he looked quite nice in them. As Naruto then met with his brother, as Naruto smiled, which was also captured by a lot of people, and so both of them walked inside. As there in its all bald glory was Lex Luthor, and right next to him was his sister Lena Luthor, as they were presenting their well investors with the projects that they were working on, hoping for more investments and whatnot. As now we see. Lena became interested in Naruto and so began to walk towards him. Name's Lena Luther. I heard a lot about you, Naruto Wayne, of how you are the famous writer behind now. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, thanks, Miss Lena. I must say so myself that I heard quite a lot about you as well. Hopefully everything good, I see. After all, you know, me and Supergirl might have qualms, but I hope that is not what you see me as, right? Uh, oh, no, uh, I guess you and her might have differences, but that doesn't mean that I have any, you know, rude opinion on you. As that is when the whole evening was spent between the two of them talking, mainly her talking, trying to know better about him, but Naruto, well, trying his best to not embarrass himself, which was quite funny for Lena as she had taken a liking to the young Vane. As after the party ended and everyone returned back, we see that Lex then came closer to Lena. You have been quite giving attention to the younger Vane. Hmm, I just discovered something great and was finding out if it was a rumor or the truth. Turns out it was. What? Remember about the NW author? He is Naruto Vane, after all. Huh, who would have thought? It's in the initials, obviously. But besides that, I ca I've been seeing that you have this gleam in your eyes. He's not an object, remember? And he belongs to the veins, so he's off-limit. Hmm. He can be mine, and I can make him mine whenever I want. 
as this was just being said as Supergirl bursted in and she glared at her with red glowing eyes, you will stay away from him. Hm. I have also heard that you have been close to him, but that doesn't make him yours. I have one rule in my life. I take what I like, even if I have to steal. You will pay for this if you get close to him, said another voice, as there it was Diana Prince. And so the bad girl arrived as well. As now we see the four begin to glare at one another, Lex did the most logical thing then and there, which was to step aside and let the four women figure out how they were going, going to handle all of this on their own. As this was going on, we go towards the League of Assassin and the League of Doom, where a lot of females such as Enchantress and some of the other villains, females such as Cheetah, as well as one Lady Shiva herself, were reading his novels as well, because of the literature that he has wrote, and with the efficiency and accuracy that he had wrote, it was quite amazing, like a tale that was real and yet fictional at the same time. So Naruto Wayne is the author of such novels. His new novel has been published as well, and this one also made a lot of buzz. Hmm. The Brad is earning a lot of money. You think he would be of any use to us? He is off limits. He is quite the heartthrob nowadays, said one Amanda Wallace. And he is no more than a normal human, even if he is a vain. He has been earning and making a name for himself separately, which makes him quite an unusual individual. He was mostly like Bruce Wayne, who just baller with their money that they have inherited. But he, he has remained quiet and rarely ever appeared even their own bar. It is held by his brother. Hmm, I see. And you better stay away from him, said Enchantress as the others also agreed with this. Some of them at least. As now we see, Naruto was blissfully unaware as he was typing in it on his novels while enjoying his pizza. As he got a call from one he couldn't expect, it was Damien. Hey Damien, what's up? Uncle, there is an emergency. You need to evacuate from your apartment now. There is a group after you. The League of Assassins. What? What? Why? Did nobody order a hit on you? It's it's her, Lady Shiva. She's after you. Why? I don't have time. Just just hurry. And so now we see Naruto once more was kidnapped. And found himself in a traditional place that was quite far away, it seems. Where, where, where am I? As Naruto found that he wasn't tied. He was just laying on a bed. And then he got up. As a woman entered in, in the room, looking towards him, she wore a black coat and a half tank top that revealed her stomach. And then she wore combat pants and shoes. My name is Lady Shiva, as people call me here. And I've been quite intrigued by your work and literature, Naruto-san. Uh, I am American. Even though my name is Asian because of my parents visiting Japan at the time and their friends suggesting that I should na they should name their next child Naruto. So yeah, I became Naruto. Hmm. Even so, I must add San because it is quite endearing. Or would you rather add Mikun as I have read in these novels? Oh, uh, yeah. S sorry about that. You don't need to apologize. It is fine literature after all. It keeps us human as one might say reminds us that, that we are more than weapons you have been doing great work to do so i see thank you but where am i you're at the leagues of assassins headquarters and as for why i brought you here isn't it obvious as the clothes were brought in which were looking like a groom set of clothes you and i are to be married within a few hours well, wait what i have taken a liking to you it was love at first sight. And as for I, who have taken everything so serious in my life, I have taken it upon myself to make sure that I take this fully serious. Uh, can I? No, you cannot deny. Otherwise, as other katanas begin to rise, as suddenly the whole room began to shake, as everyone got into a stance, as Naruto was now being protected by the League of Assassin, as soon as we see that, it was Supergirl, a pissed off, one and not only her it was batman bad girl 
and then it was Wonder Woman. All of them pissed off to the core, and Lena Luthor, using her brother's tech, who arrived there through Lex Corporation, hand over Naruto, Vayne to us, or there will be hell to pay. As that is when we see the war was about to break out, a colossal one, and so on the other side, to ease up Batman and the others, we see that Amanda Waller stood in, and she suggest made a suggestion which was quite mind-boggling for Naruto himself. Wait, is there really other, no other way? Sorry to say, but there isn't. Because even if one of them goes rogue, especially these three, there will be hell broke loose on the earth. <laughs> but why does my brother have to go through this? It's the only way. You know that as well, Bruce, as much as I now. Damn it. Sorry, Naruto, I couldn't couldn't it's fine it's not your fault and I guess if it makes peace established between the others I'll be more than happy to Naruto said with a blush on his face and so now we see it was being recorded event as for the first time in history a Wayne was being married I mean the brother Wayne after a long time in Gotham and he was being married to who else than Lady Shiva as well as Wonder Woman and many other heroes, such as Barbara Gordon, as well as Lena Luthor, and finally, Kara Danvers herself. As Naruto Colt, looking at his brides that were in front of him, but in the end, accepted them in. And once Naruto visited, well, his in-laws, let's just say it was something shocking in its own right. Shiva was an orphan, so she didn't have any, except for her, well, commoner, so she introduced Naruto to them, who were now his acting servants as well, and protectors. On the other side, Themyscira was another in itself reality. Once Diana came back with Naruto, and Naruto introduced himself, the queen wasn't that much pleased, but once she knew who Naruto was and how his novels have affected her, and how the Amazons were infected with his novels as well, she kind of agreed. They weren't the only ones. The Mount, on Mount Olympus, Olympians were also enjoying the novels as well. As Naruto was quite baffled at how his novels were making such waves, all he ever wanted to do was just sit down, write the stories he would enjoy, and hope that people might like as well. And to his surprise, they did. And now here he was, publishing stories that everyone enjoyed and found addicting. From the hardened criminals all the way to little gods. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And watch my other story as well on my main channel as well, Apollo Chiha. As this is it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.